if you're not using these five tools for your YouTube automation business, then what are you doing? This five tool is the only thing you need to run a successful YouTube automation business. If you want to add more to it, go for it. You're welcome. But these are the only ones you need guarantee because these are the only ones I need to run my business. The first one you're going to need is lessica.at. This is what it looks like. With this software, you can generate or even search unlimited image for completely free and start using it for your channel. I can't tell you how much of a lifesaver this is. Before I discovered this, I was trying to find different software. I was using Leonardo.ai, but it's limited because they only give you 160 credit for free. So when I found this, like got sent, I could use it for completely free. I could use it for any type of videos that I want. All you have to do is just search whatever you want on there and you're good and you'll be able to find images to use for your video. And those images you can go online and turn into a video because there are softwares to do that for you as well. The next one is pitrevideo.com. I'm going to be linking the URL of all this software that I'm talking about below in case you want to go assess it. You know I preach about Patreon so much because it is a lifesaver for me. It makes things so much easier when I'm feeling like on the days when I'm feeling lazy, I don't want to go searching for image. All I do is just pull my script into the software and it's going to generate a video for me. Other people might say using video, but I don't really like using a video. Not because it doesn't have good quality videos. It does, actually. I would think the quality might even be better than Patreon with what I've seen. The thing is, they don't have the option to turn off text. I don't like using those kind of software subtitles on my video. I like to create my subtitle myself because it doesn't have that option. That's why I stick to Patreon. And also, you can't create a one time. You can't create a longer than, I think, four minutes video you can create at a time, unfortunately. But with Patreon, you can create up to 10 minutes video again no brainer for me the next one is my all favorite chat gbt a lot of people underestimate the things that you can do with ChatGPT. If you are one of those people, please stop doing that. ChatGPT alone, I use it to create scripts, high engaging script for that matter. I use it to create my thumbnail, whether it's my channel banner, my channel logo, or my thumbnail for my videos, I use ChatGPT. But sometimes, obviously, the output is not very good. It's not exactly what I want. Then I use, then I use Canva. I take the image from ChatGPT, then I'll go on Canva and re-edit it and try to make it look as close to what I want. But most of the time, guys, this is a lifesaver. If you have the ChatGPT Pro, like the, the ChatGPT 4 version, it even gives you an option to add different plugins on your ChatGPT and you can use it directly in here. For example, I have a video plugin. I wanted to try and create a video to see if I can actually just put a text on here and it, this ChatGPT to create the video for me. I tested it out. It was all right. Like I said, I can't remove the subtitle, so I, it kind of put me off. I didn't want to use it. This, this sub plugin right here, I use it to extract tracked um, video subtitles for example I could just go on YouTube and copy someone's URL and just turn on this plugin paste it on here it will generate the subtitle for me how amazing is that gone are the days where you have to pay for a plugin in order to use subtitle you can just do that like copy the link go on ChatGPT, turn off the plugin paste it on there and you got your subtitle you then you can even tell it to rewrite that script for you and turn it into a completely unique one mind blown the next one on the list is Canva. I think everyone and their grandmother already knows Canva, don't we? Like, you could use Canva to do, do anything on this planet. People are making bags on Etsy just selling Canva templates, using Canva to create things like a website template, using Canva to create things like wedding planner and all kinds of things. People are making seven figures, six figures, eight figures with Canva. I personally can't do all that. I'm not like, I'm not skilled on that yet. Maybe I'm looking into using it for my ebooks and start creating ebooks and selling it but for now i'm not doing that i'm just using it for my thumbnail if you're trying to learn youtube automation then canva you're going to definitely need for your thumbnail unless you know how to do all those things like photoshop for me that's too techy it's too extreme beginner friendly that's where i go now the last one is going to be cab car when people come to me and say oh i don't know how to edit my videos like the first thing that comes to my mind is what do you think youtube is for that's what YouTube is for. Literally, there's so many tutorials on how to edit with CapCut on YouTube. And I see I see no reason why anyone would be struggling to learn how to edit their video. Most of the things I know, apart from taking scammers courses, people who took my money and gave me nothing in return, may I will never forget those faces. I still remember their faces. I remember their name till now. But anyway, I'm just saying like most of the things I learned, I started on YouTube. When I was learning affiliate marketing, it was YouTube. Now that I'm trying to learn TikTok shop, 
I'm trying to learn TikTok shop. I want to start doing that as well. What do you think I'm going? I'm going on YouTube. YouTube is your best form when it comes to things like that. Obviously, the informations are scattered and stuff. You have to piece them together by yourself. But if you're desperate and you don't have money to invest in a course or someone who can help you, may piece it together. Piece, piece the e information together as much as you can. You're on your own. No one can help you. Only you can save yourself. All these tools I've talked about today, you can use your mobile, you can use on your phone. There are days where I'm just in bed because I'm tired, I don't want to get up. I just pull out my phone, boom, let's go, download the image, uh, chat GBT, uh, generate my script for me. Then um, like, uh, I even use Leonardo.ai, Leonardo.ai sometimes I use it for a specific type of prompt, type of image that I need. <laughs> I can't even talk. I use it for a specific type of image that I need. And then the only thing I can't use on my phone is Petri. Um, when I'm creating a video that I know I can't use picture to care I make sure it's a video that doesn't need picture type of images or picture type of videos I specifically make sure of that and then for CapCut everyone knows there's a CapCut on the phone so there's no excuse to why you're not trying to do a YouTube automation you can't tell me it's because I don't have a laptop because you can do it on your phone I have a course below this video it's gonna be in the description you can check out I think it's like 57 pound and you get a full step-by-step -step on how to do YouTube automation literally I teach you how to do it I teach you how I did it if you want to ask me questions feel free to join the community or buy the course one time and roll with it it is step-by-step -step. you will be able to do this 